Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very nice problem from Pathfinder. So here is the statement of this problem. A ring of radius R made of an insulating material has mass M and carries uniform charge. Initially it, is, uh, it rests on a, horiz a frictionless horizontal tabletop with its plane vertical, a uniform horizontal magnetic field of induction B pointing everywhere parallel to the axis of the ring is established in the region to the right of a vertical plane A A dash as shown in the figure. The ring is pushed forward to acquire a velocity V naught without any rotation. What should be the charge on the ring so that it starts rolling on the tabletop after completely entering in the, in the region of uh, magnetic field. So here once uh, this ring is given uh, some velocity of V naught, it will start entering and uh, the condition is uh, that once it is completely inside, it must roll or you can say it must uh, roll without slipping. That should have been the language of it. So it should roll without slipping means as it is entering into the magnetic field somewhat somehow uh, some kind of torque is generated so we are going to discuss that part it's a tough problem i feel so concept wise uh, we can say since there are no dissipating uh, forces energy of the system must be conserved this is uh, one of the logic we are uh, going to use and then either uh, angular impulse or linear impulse definitions we are going to use where uh, impulse is equal to p final minus p initial and angular impulse is equal to final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum so let's uh, discuss this part so once this uh, ring completely enters into this magnetic field it develops uh, an omega and uh, at the time of uh, pure rolling we can say v is equal to r omega now we can conserve energy between these two potential energy there is no change so here i can write initially only translation is there so half mv naught square and in pure rolling i have discussed many time in my videos that uh, instead of writing half mvcm square plus half icm omega square i can just write it as half k plus one mvcm square where k is uh, k is 1 for the ring half for this kmr square is the moment of inertia icm so from there i'm borrowing this result so directly i can write you can just save some uh, few seconds few lines for you so when i simplify i am going to get this v is equal to v naught by root 2 all right now here once uh, it is partially entering into this magnetic field and let's say some omega has uh, developed now i can write it as if you see here clearly i can write this part as uh, uh, here uh, let's say some vcm is present and some omega is present so due to translation i am going to take uh, two elements uh, on this ring at an angle of theta um, with the element length as d theta angular length as d theta so here this length is uh, r d theta in this part so if you see due to translation it will have velocity of v and due to rotation it will have uh, velocity of r omega along the tangent similarly here i can write this is how these velocities are distributed so here due to this v if you check due to this v uh, by uh, due to this magnetic field you will see the force which is acting because of this component actually i should have been uh, writing it as total velocity of this element is vector v plus vector r omega but i can separate these two and i can uh, write individual forces so q v cross b i'm applying so due to this part i'm calling this as a force due to v f v it is in uh, this direction similarly here this f v will be in this direction you can uh, use q into v cross b where q is dq actually dq i can write as q by 2 pi into uh, d theta or lambda r d theta mm, both ways it is fine and due to this r omega this force is going to be towards the center i am calling it as force due to omega f omega similarly due to this r omega force in this direction is f omega now here you can uh, clearly see that this f omega is passing through the center it cannot provide any torque so change in angular velocity is coming because of this fv only all right 
so this force is uh, fe is providing torque due to which alpha is coming or due to which omega is changing similarly here due to this f omega cos theta f omega cos theta its linear speed is going to change fv will not have any effect on this v so this is the logic here now i'm going to write this uh, the expressions of fv and uh, f omega so that is uh, very simple dfv and df omega i'm writing here all right q into v cross b logic i'm using now here i can either write angular impulse or maybe torque uh, or linear impulse or force equation both are uh, fine all right so here if you see uh, this uh, fv is providing torque so both the elements i'm considering so 2 dfv into r cos theta this is the torque into dt that is angular impulse and that should be equal to i d omega i value i i know for the ring it is mr square so this is one equation i have i'll be using it i am writing a linear impulse equation also i thought i'll be using this but uh, without using that i could uh, solve this question so this was uh, extra equation uh, for me in fact if i combine these two it was leading me to the energy equation so by solving these two also i was not getting something very meaningful that's the reason so i decided to go ahead with the this torque equation so here now what I am going to do is, I am going to, since I have taken both the elements, then I have to integrate only for uh, this part. Okay. So, as a function of theta, I am going to calculate this. So, for uh, this entire arc, I am trying to calculate uh, in this total torque. So, which is going to give me, limit will go from 0 to some theta max here and uh, that is uh, i alpha r square r square gets cancelled so i'm not explaining this calculation you can uh, check that part so i'm going to get this as uh, 2 lambda vb sine theta m alpha alpha there are many ways i can write it as d omega by dt or i can uh, just adjust this term further as d theta by dt divided by d omega by dt in this problem i am going to get this d theta by dt value from here as i can write this uh, v as minus d by dt of r cos theta so from here d theta by dt is going to be v by r sin theta for me so when i substitute these values here and in the entire part i have calculated this uh, torque in the entire part i have calculated this torque so total torque is equal to i alpha when i do that <coughs> when i do that here by bringing because d omega by d theta and i'm substituting the value of d theta by dt which is v by r sin theta adjusting everything so now i'll get this equation and uh, in order to find out overall uh, torque i i'll just need to integrate only half part because i have taken both the elements so once ring is completely inside this angle will start from here and it will go till here so limit will be 0 to pi and uh, here very easily i can say since i have found found out this velocity vcm so omega at this instant is going to be v naught by root 2 r so when i simplify this here sin square theta d theta is coming 0 to pi and when i simplify this i am going to get this relation very simple equation will come 0 to v naught by root 2 r and another reason was uh, why i didn't prefer uh, v naught by root 2 because uh, vcm uh, logic uh, because limit will go from v naught to v naught by root 2 so in omega it goes from 0 to uh, omega so that is relatively easier to conclude so that's the reason i am going to get this uh, answer as root 2 pi lambda br square is equal to mv naught now total charge on the ring i can write as lambda into 2 pi r which is uh, when i substitute the value of lambda in this and on simplifying i am going to get total charge on the rig as uh, root 2 mv naught by br so this is going to be the final answer for this problem so it's a tricky problem slightly on the tougher side lot of adjustments i have to do in this uh, problem in order to solve it but nevertheless i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem lot of learning is there in this question 
so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like leave your comments also share it with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another physics video thank you